Hi guys! I'm gonna hop over to my Facebook page really quick and just make sure that I'm live there. That's how I want to pull it up so I can see comments. So let's see if I've got it. If you're here, say hi. Please let me know if you can hear and see me okay. It says I have some people on, so I'll just wait until you guys let me know if you can hear and see me okay. Hey Patricia, can you hear and see me okay? Thank you Debbie for sharing. Okay, everybody says they can hear and see. Hey, Bonnie. I'm just going to chit chat for a little bit, you guys, to see or to let everybody kind of get on before I get into the, the important stuff. Hey, Diana. I'm just looking off to the side, you guys. I'm looking at the comments. If you see me look down, I have notes, and then I look off to the side so I can read everybody's comments. Hey, Christina from Ohio. It is so hot here today, you guys, in Indiana. It is almost 90 degrees, high humidity, and they said after midnight we could get um, some pretty strong st thunderstorms. I hate storms. But thankfully, I'll be home before that happens. Thanks, Penny. It is great to be back. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am still so congested. I'm still taking Sudafed. Uh, I wake up in the morning, and I'm still just so congested sneezing, not so much coughing. I'm coughing a little bit, but I'm still, I just cannot like completely get over this. I'm still taking Sudafed, you know, sporadically when I feel like I need it. Um, hey, Joe Ellen. Oh, Patricia said she likes this time. Yes, it's going to be noon from now on, you guys, because I started the new job last week and so I have to be to work an hour earlier get home an hour earlier I really like it it's taken 10 minutes off my drive time I it used to take me a good 20 minutes to get to work I'm at work in 10 minutes now so it's really freed up a lot of my time and I just I absolutely love it I love the job I love the people I work with it's hard mentally it's there's just a lot um measuring hey Barb measuring the parts and things like that, but hopefully I'm going to be okay. Hopefully I'm going to get it. It's only my second week, so. Oh, Diana said it's at 9 a.m. <laughs> her time, Pacific Standard Time. Okay, let's go ahead and get started, you guys, because I have to be done in time for me to be able to leave. I'd like to be done about one o'clock. I have dogs I have to let out and get my lunch and stuff like that ready to go for me to go to work. So if this is your first time watching, I'm Bobby. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. And I try to do these Facebook Lives every Wednesday at noon. It used to be 1 Eastern Standard Time. But I have been sick and vacation and just a lot has been going on. My health over the last several months has not been the greatest and I haven't felt like doing much, but I hope I'm on the mend. I mean, I don't feel sick. I just still feel like I can tell like I have like a slight cold, sinus congestion or something. And you guys, I take um, an allergy medication every day. I think I'm going to change it. I take Allegra and I think I'm going to switch it to something different because I've heard that it's good for you to switch your allergy medicine like that's just over the counter. Uh, medication so your body doesn't get used to it. So I, I think I'm going to try that. And I'm also doing um, nasal spray to see if that helps. Just trying to get over this. So when you log on, if you guys would share and leave a comment, I would really appreciate it. That helps me in the algorithms to get noticed on Facebook. And then that also serves another pur purpose. It enters you in my price patrol for next week. So if you leave a comment or share the video, that will get you entered, and I just have a random comment picker that uh, picks my winners for me each week. So we will go ahead, and I will tell you the last person for the Facebook Live that I did. I uh, can't even remember when it was, but anyway, I drew that winner this morning before I came live, and it was going to be the Game On stamp set. 
And she's on here. I already seen her. It is Debbie Schmucker Green. So I will get that in the mail to you. And I will put it in. She is a member of my monthly kit club. So I am stuffing that in her envelope right now as I speak to you guys. Um, I'll just jump and tell you guys too. Anybody that is in my kit club, if you added on the bundle this month, I... I uh, have not mailed those out yet because I haven't got the, the shipment from Stampin' Up. I got the notification that's been shipped, so I'm assuming it's going to be the end of this week. If not, for sure Monday I'll, I should have it. I will check on that if you guys, anybody wants to know, just private message me or whatever, and I can give you that information. So next week, I will let me turn the camera back. I forgot. I have to show you what I'm going to give away next week. Okay, so next week, if you leave a comment and share the video, you guys, this is what will be next week's prize patrol. It's Create with Friends. I have to get some of the holiday stamps to give away. Oh, yay, Patricia said she got her kit today. I will be posting the videos, you guys, probably either tonight or tomorrow. I am finishing up the very last PDF. I was hoping I could get it done today before I went live, but, but I just had too much to do. So I'm not going to be able to get them done today before I go to work, but hopefully maybe tonight um, or tomorrow at the latest. So this is going to be next week's prize patrol. Comment and share the, this video, and that is how you'll be entered to win that, you guys, next week. I'm going to grab my notes really quick. I like to make myself notes so I can kind of remember what I want to talk to you about. So let me grab my pen so I can cross off what I've said so I don't repeat myself. So I'll just tell you really quick too, my host code for July is right there on the screen. If you place an order with me, I normally do, um, hey Cindy, thanks Peggy, you guys, I have missed you guys so much. I have just not felt like myself not being able to do these. But if you place an order, a $25 order or a $35 order or a $50 order, normally I did make and take packets. And because I was on vacation at the end of June, beginning of July, I time just got away from me and I wasn't able to create anything. So what I have done is I have mailed everybody your free make and takes. And I did like anybody that's a part of my kit club, the cards, the 3D items, things like that is what I'm sending people because I always make extra. But, um, oh, Diana, I was on an antibiotic. I just finished it last Friday. Um. But I mailed everybody's packets, and I will be emailing you the PDFs for those. The only thing I ask is please don't share those PDFs because those are intended for people that pay for those by being a part of my monthly kit club. So that's the only thing I ask. You know, I'm sending you the PDF so that way you can see how to put the cards together and the instructions and things like that. But next month, I will move right back into doing the three make and take packets, okay? So it'll be $25 will earn you one, $35 will earn you two, $50 will earn you three. And I know some of the packets that I mailed out, you guys, I had extra DSP paper because, like I said, I never know how many people is going to sign up, so I want to have more. So I had extra, and I sent people DSP that they're going to be able to use to put those together. And some of them were like a half a pack, a quarter of a pack of paper. So that is a good deal for July, I personally think. Um, and, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys, <clears throat> this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> so the DSP paper sale is still ongoing. I printed that out, and it ends the end of the month. So if you want some DSP, make sure that you take advantage of this sale. You'll save 15% and it's just the selected paper that is on that list there that I'm showing. And today I'm going to be using the hand penned. So anybody that might want to duplicate the card I'm making, you want to make sure that you take advantage of that. And then when you place a qualifying order, you'd also earn my free make and take packets. Okay. Now, I want to just share with you guys really quick also, on, and I like to show this so people can see. So let me turn the camera down here. I also, anybody that shops with me, I have a rewards program, and it's called Bobby's Bucks. So you can download, download this on my blog, and you fill in, you track your orders and fill it in. And when you have that filled, you will earn $40 worth of free product from me. You just fill that out. You can mail it to me, you can email it to me, you can take a screenshot of it, text it to me, whatever is easiest for you to do. 
and that way I can get it and you just tell me what you want. I place the order and it comes directly to you, okay? And then the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is my winter retreat. It's going to be October 16th. I do have an early bird registration that started July 5th. I'm going to close early bird registration on August 21st. So if you want to be a part of this, I would do it before August 21st and save that money. After the 21st, it's going to go up to 125 And this is going to be in a private Facebook group that I'll create. You'll create a swag bag, ugh, swag bag that is going to be filled with, I believe it's $30 worth of Stampin' Up! products. I can't remember right now. I don't have it written down, but you'll receive pillow gifts. You can have an optional add-on class. I will send you on that private Facebook page. I will post the videos and PDFs. You'll have treats in your box, and I also am doing price patrol. This retreat is going to be all online. I was thinking about offering it local, but I will be honest with you, when I try to, to do stuff here locally, it just seems like nobody's really interested, but I have a lot more interest with online, doing the Facebook page, and then posting everything there, so it will be online. You can watch the videos whenever, wherever you want. I leave them up for a very long time, so that way you can uh, go back and refer and that kind of stuff to the videos. We're going to make 3D projects. The shipping is included. And like I've said, there's going to be a private Facebook group. PDF and video only option is available. That means you would not be a part of the, the, the Facebook group. You would not get the swag bag. The only thing you would get would be the PDFs and the videos. So that is also available. All this is on my blog where you can sign up. And then, of course, we're going to do make and takes. And I am so stinking excited for this, you guys. Retreats and my kit club, I absolutely love to do. I love designing for these and sharing. I love searching for the pillow gifts that I send you guys and the treats. And just, I just love it all. This is one little thing. It just happens to be uh, setting here. This is one thing that I sent everybody. So they got the little, this little wooden from Michael's, a little wooden um, frame, and it's got the little paper clip, and then I made the labels, and then the die cut out their initial for their name, so if it would have been a local, like here at a building, that would have been at their place where they would have been seating when they came in. If you are local to me, which is Warsaw, Indiana, and you would like for this, or you, you could drive, and you would like this to be an in-person, if I get enough people that message me and say, hey, I'll sign up if you do it in person, I will do it in person. I will find a location. I've already kind of called about one just in case because I was kind of on the fence. I'll be honest with you. I was going to call a place this morning and see. And then I was like, no, just don't do it. Local people don't sign up for these. Just do it all online because you have a better turnout. But if anybody is interested, let me know. And like I said, I will find us a location and we will do it live. And I would love to do that. I would absolutely love to get a following locally where we do these uh, local. I, I That has been my dream. I talked about Bobby Bucks in that. Okay, let me jump really quick now. My monthly kit club is $35 a month and that includes priority shipping. You have to join by the 20th of every month to get that current month's projects and you can join and cancel anytime but I don't think that you would want to once you become a member because it is so awesome. Every month you receive make and take packets that you'll use to create that month's cards. You don't have to purchase the featured stamp set or bundle but when you do you can add it on and save 17% because I pay the tax and shipping on that. Your kit will also have $20 worth of Stampin' Up! product for you to use on the projects. We always make eight cards. We make two each of four different designs, and I provide the envelopes. I add you to my private Facebook group for members, and that's where I post the videos and the PDFs. And then I also, um, after you've been a member for six months, you receive a $25 product bonus, okay? And if you are a part of my team, oh, thanks, Debbie, you are so sweet. If you are a part of my team, you get to be added to that Facebook page for free. I don't send you the make and take packets, but I do add you to that page so you can get the PDFs and the videos and things like that. And so like I did say, if you did add on this feature, this month's featured bundle, uh, it was uh, Friends Are Like Seashells, 
the order has been placed with Stampin' Up. I'm just waiting to get it. And once I get that, I'll get your guys' packets in the mail too. And then the PDFs and videos will be posted more likely tonight, you guys, after I get home from work. So it will be late, but it could be tomorrow. Just, I don't know how long it's going to take me to get that PDF finished, but I don't think it's going to be too long. Okay, let's talk about some exciting things, you guys. Celebration begins August 3rd and will go through September 30th. And you can earn free product with every $50 that you spend. So let me show you. The catalogs are going to say, I mailed out the catalogs to you. The catalogs went out on Monday. They went in your kit club. That's another perk of being a part of my kit club. You get catalogs for free. And so if you've placed an order with me, with me in the last six months, I sent you a catalog. So those went out on Monday and they had the catalogs included. And this is, this one is right. This one says August 3rd through September 21st. Our mini catalog says July, but it's actually August. They had to push it back because of COVID. So that is our catalog. I can't show you guys the inside. So I'm very excited about that. That's always a fun time of a year when we do this. And this year we're doing two, but I do have something else I wanted to show you. When that catalog launches on the third, if you want to become a demonstrator, you can purchase the starter kit. You can add anything in the starter kit you want. It's $125 or $99 and you choose $125 worth of product. And during celebration, you can also choose a free, you heard me right, free bundle. And these are the bundles. I can't show you the pictures in the catalog right now. I didn't have time to pull them all out, the ones that I do have, but I am, I have a little something that I plan on doing to, to make this easier for everybody to see what they are. But anyway, you, any of these that you see up here on the screen is what you could add to your starter kit for free. And that's going to start you guys on August 3rd. Okay, let's get to stamping you guys. Now I won't be able to see the comments unless I turn and look. And today's project, I have to stamp off quite a bit. So I have to pay attention what I'm doing because I will mess up and not stamp off and then ruin my project. Okay, had to take a quick drink of water. So this is the card that I'm sharing today. I absolutely love how this card turned out. Let me know what you guys think. <laughs> I used the Nature's Harvest bundle that is in that new catalog. This one, I have the dies out because I'm going to be using them. But there's eight dies total. You can also add on, um, I think within that bundle suite, the timber. I think the timber one. It might be the bark one. I might be wrong on that. But um, I will tell you why I pulled this out here in just a minute, okay? But I'm also going to use stacked stone, the stacked stone stamp set. But the Harvest, Nature's Harvest is the one I'm using to create the card. And I know this is a fall card, but I just changed up the color a little bit. I had this in my head, and the whole time I was imagining how I wanted it to turn out. And I started with fall colors. And it just, I just kept seeing these two color combinations and I was like, nope, I have to do it the way I have it in my head. I like the fall one and I'll probably use it at a later date for a Facebook Live. It's very similar to this, but the colors are just changed. But I will show you guys. All I did was die cut out. Can you just see? All I did was die cut out the flowers. After I did that, I thought, I wonder what they would look like if I embossed them. So I embossed them. Let me grab a piece of paper, a dark piece of paper so you guys can see. So I embossed them with, I think this one is the Scripty 3D. And can you guys see that? It's cute and all, but you really can't make anything out of it, like the words, because it's just so, so small. So then, let me show you this up close. I'm trying to make sure I have them turned on the good embossed side one of them I did not I think yep that that way and that way I had them all upside down I think so look at that with the bark I like that a lot better and that's what I'm gonna change up today I am going to put these on here instead of just the plane I like that a lot better so you guys I'll show you again it's just plain right there 
So we're, that's the part that I'm going to change it up. Now let me put my card over here so I can reference it. I'm using Mint Macaron ink, Blushing Bride ink, and Smoky Slate ink. My ribbon little thing broke that I got. This is going to be in, or it is in the new catalog. This is Blushing Bride, and it's the uh, Gross Grain ribbon. And then I'm going to use some of the Opal Rounds. Let me try to move this over here. I'm going to use a couple of our blending brushes, and I'll show you that here in a minute. My card base is Blushing Bride, and it is five and a half by eight and a half, and then I just scored it in the middle. I cut a piece of mint macaron four by five and a quarter, and then I cut a piece of DSP three and three quarters by five, and then this piece of DSP is three and a half by four and three quarters, and my basic piece of white is three by four and a quarter. And again, you guys, that is from the hand-penned DSP paper pack. Very, very pretty paper that is on sale. Now, this is one of the dies, and I brought myself a few extra because I just didn't know if I was going to mess up. I tried stamping this, you guys, and then cutting it out. And I think I put my little label on my stamp. A little bit off because I could never get it straight so I'm just gonna stamp it and then die cut it out so here I just have blushing bride just to show you guys but I've already got them die cut out so now I'm not gonna cut them out because I I've already done that but these are the the three dies the additional three dies that come with that bundle so now I won't have to use those I was thinking about that yesterday that I already had those embossed and I'm not gonna waste them so I will just use them for that let me grab something to protect my work surface and then I have some scrap paper that I'm going to use for my stamping off I always keep my old stuff in my papers so that way I can have something to I don't want to waste recycle you guys okay so I'm just going to give that a score and then I can go ahead and adhere my mint macaron piece down just like that okay and then we're going to do the next piece of designer series paper Let me just turn it whoops get it off of my finger okay and then we'll put that piece down now before i move on we'll just go ahead and start this process okay so the first thing i did was i took the stacked stone stamp and I'm going to grab Smoky Slate ink. Let me kind of move this over a little bit, make sure you guys can see. And I'm just going to ink it up. Now, I wanted this to be very, very subtle. So what I did was I'm going to stamp off twice. So I'm just going to stamp it off, lift it up, and then I flipped it. Oh, I don't want to do it where there's words. And then I stamped off again, just like that, a little bit lighter. Hopefully that's going to show up. I might have to stamp it again. That was really light. And then I just pressed it around with my finger, just like that, just so I could get the ink. And like I said, you guys, I wanted this to be very, very, very subtle. Let me use my... So just like that. And I don't care that it missed. I mean, that is exactly what I'm going for, is that kind of look, okay? Let me move that out of my way. Then the next thing I did, let me look at my card. I've got to remember, you guys, what I did because it's been a, a few days since I made this. So I'm going to take the mint macaron. It doesn't matter in which stages you do this, I guess. But I'm going to grab another piece of scrap paper because all of this we're going to stamp off. So I'm going to ink... All the, the, the two sayings is the sending healing thoughts, may nature's beauty bring peace to your soul and a reminder to never forget how much you mean to me and so many others. So I'm going to stamp off and then I'm just going to stamp these randomly on here. And I just kind of bebopped back and forth. I did try to get one full saying on there. And then I'm going to do the same thing with that other saying, the mint macaron, and I'm stamping off. And I'm going to put this one right in the center. I was just kind of building a background, you guys, is basically what we're doing. That, that's all I was doing. 
going to add just a little bit right there. Just You can do whatever you want to do and wherever you want it to be, okay? So I have the Knit Macron. I'm going to take this little, um, I'm not sure. I think you can use this to fill in the flowers if you wanted to, but I just call it like a little smudgy. And then I'm going to stamp off, and I'm going to stamp off twice because I really don't want this to darken the card. So I'm stamping off twice with this. And then I'm going to clean it. Did I bring, I know I brought my, here it is. I knew I moved it over here within arm's reach. So I'm going to clean my stamp. And then I'm going to open up my Blushing Bride. Move my mint macaron, because if you're anything like me, you will still put it in the wrong one. And I'm going to go in with that, stamping off twice. And I'm just going to add this pink. And see, I forgot to stamp off. That's what happens, guys, when I talk. So just, I just wanted a background color is basically what I wanted. And then I'm going to take the big flower. I'm going to ink it up. I'm going to stamp off once. And I put it right in the center. And then I'm going to stamp off again. And then I'm just going to slightly put it on the sides. Just, just a little bit. Okay. Then I took my blending brush and I'm just going to ink that up a little bit and I'm going to really make sure I don't have a lot of ink on there and then I just kind of went over the card in various spots okay and then I'm going to close this I'll have to open it back up here in a minute for our sentiment but I'm going to do the same thing with mint macaron okay and then just fill in I'm just going over to put some color all over the card, okay? Now I'm just trying to look to see. I think I used all my stamp sets to make sure I have it right. Let me move my brushes out of the way. And then I'm gonna stamp the sentiment, which is the super long one. My nose is running, you guys. Ugh. And then I'm going to stamp off, make sure I have it, no water on there. Okay. Let's move that out of the way. So then I just took a, a strip of paper, basic white, and then I just stamped the sentiment. I love the font. I'm a big font person. Yeah, uh, Jessica said she loves the stamp set. I do too. Okay, let me move this out of the way. I think we're done making a mess. Let me grab my die cutting machine. So normally, if I was going to die cut these out, you guys, and emboss them, I would just die cut them out and then emboss them. Basically, it, it's super easy to do. Okay, let me grab my plates. Where is... Oh, there it is. Okay. So then I just put it on here and then just line it up. You can use washi tape if you want. Just kind of make sure you have it as straight and on each end, let me kind of move just a smidge to the left, I think. I always hate when I do that and then the cardstock sticks to my finger and then I move the whole thing. Okay. And then there you go. I just could not get it stamped straight. I do really believe it was my own fault. I think I put the, I even tried, even though I knew I put it on there. I'm trying to make that not snap so loud. Um, I kept trying to like turn it the way I thought I needed to turn it. And no matter what I did, I could not get that lined up. So for this piece, then we want to layer it on here like that. But to do that, I'm not just going to use seal I'm going to pop it up I have really if you are in my kit club you know this has become a thing for me I love it so much I do it a lot now and I will tell you normally I don't like to tell what my um the stamps I'm going to use in the kit club I kind of like it to be to be a surprise until I do the projects but I am using this bundle for my kit club in August so this is going to be 
the bundle that you can choose to add on if you want to. And when you add on the bundle, you guys, I send you the cardstock and everything to make the 3D projects. You still get the videos and PDFs. I just don't send you the cardstock. Okay, so let's go ahead and then I'm just going to put this at the bottom. I love this ribbon. This bundle, the Whimsy, I think it's called Whimsy Wonder. Oh my gosh, you guys. As soon as I seen it, I fell in love. I was like, oh my gosh, I love that. So I can't wait to start playing with that. So I just um, tied a knot. You can tie a bow if you want to. I just decided to do a knot. And I'm just going to trim that. And trim that. And let's see if we need to trim more. Might cut that down just a smidge, but I don't know yet. Okay, now let's take the ones that we've I've already die cut out and I've already embossed. So this is Mint Macaron, of course, and these two are Blushing Bride, okay? Now I'm gonna grab, I just don't wanna get glue over here on my work surface, you guys, is what I'm doing. I had intended, and then I totally forgot that I wasn't gonna be doing this live. I was going to use our adhesive sheets to do this. I wanna make sure I'm putting this glue on the right side. And so because I already have these cut out, Okay, I'm not going to be able to do that. So I'm just going to use Tombow. You could use the adhesive. Patricia says, yippee, I love the stamp set. Okay, so I'm just going to put some glue on the important areas. I don't want it to run out on me if it doesn't have to. Try not to put too much because I don't want it to ooze. Sometimes I get carried away with it. This one's going to be the hardest, but I'm just going to... Both sides of this look so well embossed. I know you guys are a little bit further away and probably can't see it up close as good as I can, but either side of this, I think, could go on that card. And I've had a couple of people that have reached out about joining my team. Um, if you are interested, just make sure. I mean, I don't want to tell anybody to wait, but that is a great offer that they're going to be offering in, um, in August on the third about getting that free bundle. So I didn't know that at the time that the people re when they reached out, but I later found out about that actually just this week. Okay. It's sticking on my finger. I have really liked using tweezers too, you guys. It gets my fingers out of the way. So I'm going to put this piece down first and I'm just going to kind of put it like that. And then I'm going to put this piece and I'm going to just try to tuck it. That's why I'm not really pushing down too hard. I'm going to try to tuck it in there. And then this one, I want to... Oops, I knew I was going to do that. I could feel I didn't have a grip. I'm going to kind of tuck it right like that, okay? Just a little bit of layering with those. Then I'm going to go in and kind of push down. I have to see. I did. Okay, I'm trying to see if I popped this layer up on dimensionals or just use um, stamp and seal. And I did use dimensionals. So let's see. So everything's going to fit perfectly on there. So I'll tell you guys because I don't. Diana, I am going to try my best to be back weekly. I have missed you guys so much. So I do plan on doing this next week. Normally, too, you guys, I put the PDF of the project that I make on my blog on Wednesdays. Uh, this one, because it had new product and I couldn't share the code, the item codes and things like that, I didn't do a PDF. But next week, if you go read my blog after this today, you'll find out that next week I plan on using the same, same stamp set. And I might change it, so don't hold me to that. But I want to make a 3D item that coordinates with this because I was just getting ready to tell you this card is going to be going to the girl I work with that is training me. We worked together about two years ago in the building that I just left. Super, super sweet girl. And she's known for a very long time that I was trying to get in the position that I just got. She's in that position. And that's why she left our building a few years ago. And she is just the sweetest girl. I'm so glad I'm working with her again. But just kind of like a thank you for her training me. I'm not sure what that is. There we go. 
Um, I'm just giving this to her as a thank you for training me, for being nice and patient with me. And she is a very, very good trainer, you guys. Like, I am so happy that I got her to train me. So I'm going to put some dimensionals also on the back of the sentiment. But I have a gift that I want to give her. Actually, it's a couple. Nothing expensive or crazy. But I've picked up a, a couple of little things. And if I can get it together before next Wednesday, because I have to figure out the box design and things like that. That's what I plan on doing next Wednesday. I'm going to focus on the new catalog since it's going to be coming out so soon, you guys. So we're just going to put that right in the middle, just like that, okay? So that's the projects I'm going to be, uh, stamp sets. More than likely, I'm going to be using our, from the, the new catalog that's going to be coming out. Because I know you guys want to order some new stuff too. So I'm just going to grab... I don't know what is going on with my pick tool anymore. Now that one is making me mad. It won't stay on. Okay, so let me see. Where did I put my little gems? I'm going to put one if I can get it off of my finger. I'm sorry for my ugly nails. They need to be done. I am having a very hard time getting into my nail salon. They are so busy. So I go Saturday, you guys. So next week I'll have new nails for you. Okay, and then I use two of the bigger ones. So this one, I'm just going to use one of the smaller ones. And I'm just going to put it, well, oh, let me see if I can get, yeah. I want to lower it because I don't want them to look like they're side by side. I did that on my first card too. Okay, guys, that's it. What do you think? Let me know, yay or nay. Do you like this card with the, the fall stamp set, but we brightened it up with summer colors? Yes, Diana, I do work in the medical field. Kathy, that's great. Make sure you catch the replay. Thank you guys for the hearts. I really appreciate it. Um, I work at our biggest employer here in the town that I live in. Warsaw, where I'm from, it's Warsaw, Indiana. You guys can look this up, but we are the orthopedic capital of the world. <laughs> we have so many orthopedic places and it's just, I love the job. Yeah, I, Amy said she loves the card. She loves building a background. I love building a background, too. I love the card. I can't even think of the name of the stamps that I used. It was the Paris one, and I, it's kind of similar to this card. But this is this is kind of my gig. This is kind of what I like is, is these kind of cards. But I try to do something to, you know, reach everybody where I'm going to, everybody's going to like something that I do. Oh, thank you so much, Diana. You guys are so sweet for your nice words. Okay, please remember to comment and share this video, and that will enter you in the prize patrol for next week. That's a great stamp set, you guys. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I wanted to say. Does anybody have any more questions or anything like that for me? If you head over to my blog, you will you can read the full description of this card and also about what I plan on doing next week. And I will get the Kit Club projects in the mail as soon as I get the packet, uh, package from Stampin' Up and PDFs for my Kit Club members, you guys. I, I'm 99.9% I'm .9 sure I will post those PDFs tonight, okay? Now watch, I'll get home and something will go wrong. <laughs> Hopefully not. Pray for me, you guys. Oh, you, you know what, Sandy? It's, uh, it's a Zimmer Biomet. So if you have a Zimmer Biomet part, it, it probably is. And it's truly amazing to see how these things are made and what I was doing before it was called PTOs and it's patient to order. It was specific hospitals and doctors putting orders in for specific people's surgeries and they had to go out that same day. So that's what I did. And it was kind of like fast paced, you know, get, we need to get out as many as we could a day for the, for the doctors and everything. And everybody else in the room, they did called packaging but it was just, you know, stuff that you could send them that they were going to keep on their shelf for future use. But what I did, it was like immediate use for surgeries. And what I'm doing now is called receiving inspection. So parts that come in from outside vendors that we commission parts for or whatnot have to be sent out for something to be done to them or whatever. When they come in, now I have to inspect them to make sure they're the right size, if they have holes in them, the, the diameter is right. Like, it's a lot. I've learned uh, micrometers I have to use, calipers, there's a comparator machine. There's like so many, like this girl is telling me the names of so many things as we go get the tools to be able to do this. And 
it's very interesting because that's what I told her. It's like every order when you open that box up, it's something different and you're learning. I, I just feel like I'm learning so much and so many different things. And I loved the other job I did, but it was just repetitive. The same thing. We dealt with plates and screws and it was called microfixation. So it was anything for the face, the upper part of the body. And it was small, you know, like if you got cut and you needed a, something implanted there or whatever. Uh, it was very interesting that the hardest thing was leaving my coworkers. I'd been there for four years in that department and I loved them. We were like a family and that was the worst part. So, but I'm going to go you guys so I can get my lunch packed and everything like that. I will see you next Wednesday at noon guys. Don't forget the time change. Thank you everybody that joined me today. I'm so happy to be back and I appreciate each and every one of you hopping on here to spend a little bit of your day with me. It really makes me feel appreciated and loved and I just love that you guys. Thanks. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye guys.